Hi everybody, Bonnie here. I hope you guys have been doing well. I have a few things to show you. I've been crocheting uh, quite a lot. I did finish that baby blanket that I showed you in the last video. It turned out so pretty. I just love it. I just love this. This is Karen Cotton Cakes in um, High Tide. It took two cakes and each cake is 8.8 ounces or 250 grams. So, I mean, it just, oh, it's so squishy and just, I love it. Uh, I also wanted to gift a little husky dog um, along with the baby blanket because the mom has huskies. And so I looked and looked and I finally found a really cute pattern. So I made this little guy. This pattern is Ash the Husky. It's by Teresa's Crochet Shop. I purchased it on Etsy. I think it was three or four dollars. I will link it down below. I will link the Etsy shop down below. But it did turn out cute, but this is not what I'm gifting because I did something else. But anyways, this pattern, it's very well written. There are lots of pictures. There's a lot of sewing. Like you have to sew like each thing is separate the gray for the tail is separate the white is separate these back legs this is a separate piece this is a separate piece you sew them together then you sew them on uh, i did crochet in the arms because i was just done with sewing you do sew the muzzle on the ears are two pieces you make the gray you make the white you sew it together and then you sew the ears on sew the head on so if you don't like to sew this might not be the project for you but it is cute it's like the perfect um 18 inch doll size so my Courtney has a little pet pups it's pretty cute for the yarn the white is just a regular white scrap ball that I had around same thing with the black I did not put in the safety eyes like it says to in the pattern because I thought I was going to be gifting this to like you know like for a baby baby shower and I didn't want to do any safety eyes so I just did the eyes myself very simple and then the gray is Vanna's choice it's in silver heather that's the gray it doesn't take very much yarn at all and not very much stuffing but it does take a lot of time so I wanted to make like a cuter husky well the other thing I made totally did not turn out <laughs> I made a zebra puppy by accident I bought this yarn this is, let me see, this is Burnett Blanket in Gray Storm. Burnett Blanket in Gray Storm. It's just one ball of it. And I thought like the colors were pretty good for it, but it didn't really work up the best. There's his little tail. And I really wanted to do a husky anyways. Um, now, when I first Hi. made this, hello, Briella. I did not put in the safety eyes or the safety nose because you know, I thought it was going to a baby. But after the fact, it really needed the safety eyes and safety nose. It just did not look yeah. right with anything. So I smushed my fingers in between and I like I put the safety eyes in. Then I hot glued them and there's a little bit of hot glue around the eyes. I don't know. This thing is, it's not perfect. It's cute. It's cute. I took the head off <laughs> thinking that... Um, I could just unstuff it and then stick the safety eyes in. I forgot when you you stop the crochet pattern stops here So that did not work, but I was able to get my fingers in there I do have the backs snapped on to the safety eyes. It's just not hot glued on the back like I usually do but I mean, it's okay. This is that free Emma Groomy dog pattern that I made before and I will link that down below I mean, it's cute, but it's just not the cutest this, now the third time is the charm because this is the cutest. This one is the cutest. This is so cute. Look at the tail, the tail, like right there. It's squishy. I did the same thing with the eyes. I just did really simple embroidery eyes, embroidered nose and little mouth and the ears. I don't, it's just so cute. But do you see what I did? You wanna hold this one? I took the head from this and the body from this pattern and I just merged them together. It's exactly the same body pattern as this. Uh, the yarns of course are different 
and then it's exactly the same head pattern minus one row in the muzzle for this muzzle I just I did I didn't do one extra row because it, it would stick out too far but it's the same pattern and I didn't have a husky tail so I just kind of did what the ear thing looks like only a little more narrow and I played yarn chicken to the end I hardly had enough to weave in with this white the white yarn let me see what kind of yarns I used the white yarn is cozy chenille this is um, a mainstays and the gray I do have some of the gray left it only took maybe like half of the ball this is chenille home slim which is in the color steel gray those are the two colors and then just some scrap black yarn that I had but oh my goodness oh this has been sitting on my desk right by my laptop and I just been seeing his little face I'm gonna miss him but oh my goodness it's just it's too cute I think it goes pretty well with the blanket so mm -hmm. this is gonna be gifted tonight to the little mama it just turned out better than I thought the color work on the face I've never done color work on an amigurumi before and I think it turned out pretty good the pattern is very specific and it's really it's a helpful pattern so yeah there we go that's what we've been up to mm -hmm. and we'll be seeing you pretty soon bye yeah. everybody bye you want to push it <laughs>